They're having a big game for Ulster this uh, weekend, probably the biggest game since 1999. Yeah, uh, but I mean we can't uh, always think about it like that and we've got to take it as it comes and hopefully not treat it that much differently from any other game. So uh, yeah, we know it's a big game but hopefully we can do alright. You've had a good run of form recently, uh, a score against Bath at the Rec and then a the score last weekend. Yeah, it's, uh, it's good like the first two tries for Ulster so uh, hopefully another one on Saturday we do alright. And the form of the team's good? Yeah, yeah, there's a there's a good atmosphere and a good mood, so hopefully we can get the right result. Well, before the press conference today, there was a wee bit of uh, uh, throwing the ball through Brian Moore's mouth. Um, would you like to comment on some of your Ulster colleagues and how they got on? Uh, well, yeah, well, a few of them, like the scrum halves, were supposed to be able to pass, didn't do too well, so I'm delighted that Paul Marshall only got like three or four. But uh, a few, Paddy McAllister, don't think he was too hot either, so props probably don't need to pass. So, yeah. And did you have a go? No, I didn't. Uh, I can't pass, so... <laughs> You got on for a, a bit of the time over in Biarritz, uh, they're a, a very powerful back line, um, it's a big challenge for you personally? Yeah, there's uh, they have a good back three and like they have a couple of real quick players so uh, hopefully, I don't know, hopefully we can we can use that to our advantage if that makes sense, I don't know, and uh, get some scores our, ourselves. Yeah, uh, we got uh, we got sidetracked a bit with the two defeats over Christmas and against Treviso we got back on track so hopefully we can keep the momentum going as you say and uh, get the right result. I'll enjoy it anyway. Thank you.